happy Wednesday! For today's video tip, I wanted to share with you guys my top 10 travel tips that everyone should know. Now last year, I went on a three-month backpacking trip. I went through New Zealand, I went to Australia, through Southeast Asia, and a little bit through Europe, and it was one of the most amazing things I've ever done in my life, and I would totally do it again. But during that trip, I did use some of my handy travel tips, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what they are. So, let's get started! One of the most important tips I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is going to be on how to conceal your money when you're traveling abroad. Now, especially to countries where you're going to that you're not sure about the crime rate or the theft rate, this is a really easy and cheap way to conceal your money when you're traveling. Save those old chapstick containers and take all the lip balm out of it, give it a good clean and then roll all of your dollar bills into the chapstick container. This is a great and easy and cheap way to conceal your money without having to bring a big wallet with you everywhere you go. In the past, I've had so much trouble packing, normally overpacking or not having enough room, not being organized and just things flying everywhere in my suitcase or in my backpack, but I have found an amazing way to help you pack, pack a lot of stuff and just have the most organized setup in your suitcase or in your backpack. And here's how I do it. tip for frequent travelers. If you're always checking on flight prices on travel sites, make sure when you're browsing the internet to always use an incognito tab and this actually privatizes where you're searching from. Because a lot of travel sites will sometimes raise the prices up because they've seen you've come to the website a lot to check for flights. So make sure next time when you're browsing to always use the incognito tab. Sometimes when I'm in a hurry and I need to pack really fast, I'll use my IKEA stackables to help me get there quicker. Heels, runners, boots, all kinds of footwear can leave you with little to no room in your luggage. So here's my tip on how to pack your footwear so you get more space. When I go traveling, I like to bring a few pieces of jewelry with me. I never bring anything really expensive because I don't want it to get lost or stolen. So when I do go traveling, I like to put my jewelry in those little contact lens cases or even in those pill boxes you can get at the dollar store. They're super cheap. You can buy a few of them and you can put your necklaces, your earrings, and your rings in them. And they're perfect for when you need to travel and when you need to bring jewelry with you. If you've ever had your passport stolen or maybe you lost it, you know it can be a huge hassle trying to get on a flight or even trying to get home. A really easy way to combat this is just to scan and email a copy of your passport to yourself and have easy access to it. That way when you're at the border, you can tell them what happened and you have a backup copy. 
Now I've been to some countries where there are no in-suite laundry rooms or even laundromats in the area at all, so we have to do our own washing and drying. One thing every traveler should have is a line dry cord, and I'll show you what I mean. had your luggage go missing, maybe it got stolen, or perhaps the airline had a mix-up and you may not get it for a few days, an easy way to help with that is by dividing everyone's belongings amongst the luggage. I mean, if you're going on your own, that might not work, but if you're going with family or with your kids or with your significant other, try and divide your belongings between the luggages. That way, if one goes missing, you're not out of luck. Last but not least, making sure that you check with your doctor before going on any trips. When I knew I was going to Southeast Asia, I knew some of the foods may not agree with my stomach because I don't have an iron stomach, and I told this to my doctor and he prescribed some antibiotics and some pills I could take with me during my trip in case I got sick. And what happened was I did get sick and thank goodness I had those antibiotics and pills with me which totally cut down the time I was sick and I was able to enjoy my trip. So those are my top 10 travel tips I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you learned some tips here you can use in your travels. Also you guys, I'll be doing another giveaway contest. I'm really excited about this one because it's travel related. So here are the items that I handpicked for you. The lucky winner is going to receive this awesome travel set where you can put your shampoos, conditioners, facial cleansers, and face washes in, and it comes in this plastic bag which is spill proof. Next up, you're also going to win this amazing anti-stress sinus pillow. You can put it in the microwave for a heated compress or put it in the freezer for a colder compress, or you can even use it on the plane if you just want to get some shed eye. You can't get on a plane without some good headphones. They also go around the ear, which are great for the gym as well. And they're these super cute pink color, so you'll also be getting this. One of my favorite things about this giveaway is going to be this amazing Betsy Johnson travel set. You get a big travel bag and a small cosmetic case. The colors are amazing, it's perfect for traveling, and you're going to receive all these travel goodies for your next travel trip, and this is how to enter. To enter this contest, all you need to do is five easy things. Number one, be subscribed to my channel, which is the channel you're watching, Chew Tips. Number two, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Number three, comment below and let me know what your best travel tip is. Number four, make sure you follow me on Instagram and my username is Chew Tips. And number five, be sure to find this giveaway photo on my Instagram page and either screenshot and share or regram it with the hashtag Travel Tips with Jen and those are the easy rules to enter the contest. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me here on YouTube. Be sure to enter the contest for your chance to win this amazing travel giveaway and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! You guys know I am a big fan of wearing sunscreen all the time. One of my favorites is this one from Nivea Sun Kids. Even though I'm not a kid anymore, I still use it. I love this one. It's SPF 60, so it's very strong and it's super not greasy at all. It's really light.